What's up guys and welcome back to the channel where I show you the best tweaks for your device. In today's video I'm gonna show you the top 50 jailbreak tweaks for your device. These tweaks will add more new features and improvements to your device like never before as well as many changes in your device. These tweaks are from the must download jailbreak tweak series all in one video. Okay as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS jailbreak tweaks and jailbreak news of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Alright, the first tweak we have here is iGame Guard. This tweak has the same function as iGame Garden tweak and will allow you to hack many games easily. If you have downloaded iGame Garden and it didn't work for you, don't worry. In this video, I will show you an alternative tweak. This tweak is iGame Guard. The next tweak is no more disabled. This tweak will allow you to enter the passcode permanently and will prevent the iPhone from entering the disabled screen due to the wrong code entry several times. If you enter the wrong passcode multiple times, you will not be able to unlock your device even if you enter the correct passcode. This is an important feature and it will prevent anyone from knowing your device passcode in case someone tries to enter your device passcode incorrectly several times. The next tweak is App Editor. This tweak will give you a lot of great features such as downgrading the apps, disable jailbreak check, duplicate apps, and other great things. Alright guys, so as you can see here, this tweak will give you these great and very useful options such as locking apps, prevent phone calls in apps, downgrading apps, duplicating the app, and more features. The next tweak is Media Widget. This tweak will bring fully functional Media Widgets to iOS 14 home screen. This tweak is Media Widget. This tweak, guys, allows you to control the media playback, get song information, and control the AirPlay menu from the home screen. So you can control and change music directly from the home screen without having to open the music app. So you can control and change music directly from the home screen without having to open the music app. All right, here you can choose the small size, the medium size or the big size after you find the media widget just add it to the home screen as you see guys now you have a fully functional media widget in the home screen now you can play and control music directly from the home screen without having to open the music app and also you can change the music easily through this widget the next tweak is ICTMIZ tweak this tweak is a wonderful tweak and it will give you a lot of advantages to customize your device the way you want. This tweak is really great and it gives you more than 250 features to customize your device. Here you will find many options for customizing your device. As you see, you can customize the home screen, folders, control center, camera, lock screen, state bar, and multitasking. As you see guys, whenever you open an option, you will find a lot of options for customizing your device. And as you see here, a lot of useful settings to customize your device the way you want you will be able to customize your device as you want and you can change a lot of settings and hide a lot of options that you don't want especially in the states bar and control center the next tweak is Zitsu. This tweak has the same function as Make You Wait tweak, which is that it allows you to use more than one app at the same time on your iOS device. One of the best things about this tweak is that it is completely free and it's very similar to Make You Wait tweak. The way to use the tweak is very simple. All you have to do is click and hold on any app you want to use in a small window. Now you will see a new option here in the 3D Touch menu, which is Zitsu. Just click on it and boom. Now you can use the app in a small window as you see. You can now use more than one app at the same time. The next tweak is Links Tweak. This tweak is very useful and provides many useful features that allows you to customize your device the way you want. Alright, here you have two options to display the settings of the tweak. The first option is the list mode and the other is icon mode. As you see, this tweak gives you many useful options to customize your device. Within all of these options, there are many other options that enable you to customize your device as you want. And as you see guys, you will find many useful and useful options that will make your device much better. There are many, many useful options here. 
The next tweak is X to iOS 13 to iOS 14. This tweak will allow you to open apps from folders quickly without having to open the folder. As you see, this tweak will give you this beautiful animation and will allow you to open apps from folders quickly without having to open the folder. This tweak gives a beautiful animation and it's one of the best CD tweaks for me. From here, you can customize some of the tweak settings and change the number of icons you want to see and more. You can change the tweak settings from here. The next week is Translate Week. This week will allow you to translate any text directly through the options menu as you can see. This week will allow you to translate in any language you want easily and without going back and forth between translation apps or hitting extra buttons. This week is very useful guys and I recommend you to download this week. It's completely free. The next week is Boxy for Tweak. This week as you see will allow you to customize all the icons on your device and place them anywhere, move the icons anywhere you want and provide many other options. That week provides many several options to customize the home screen. You can enable the dark mode and you can also hide the app library and you can also resize the widgets on the home screen. The next week is Apps Hacks. This tweak will allow you to hack many popular apps easily with just one click. This tweak will allow you to hack more than 300 apps easily and it is completely free. The third option here is free in-app purchase and this option allows you to hack in-app purchases. Of course, it doesn't work on all apps and games. This feature is of course similar to the local IAP store tweak. Okay, here below you will find the apps that you can hack easily and with just one click. As you can see here, from here you can hack design apps and get the full version of these apps easily. There are many, many popular apps that you can hack easily with this tweak. All you have to do is just enable this button here. The next tweak is ProKeys Tweak. This tweak will allow you to customize the keyboard in your device in this beautiful way. This tweak will give you this beautiful animation on the keyboard of your device. It's a very beautiful tweak that I recommend you guys to try. Now, here below you will find three options to customize your keyboard. The next tweak is Big Sur Sensor Tweak. This tweak will redesign the control center. As you see, I will show you how to get this beautiful control center, which is similar to the one in Mac OS Big Sur. This is a beautiful tweak and has beautiful features. You can get a beautiful control center and customize it as you like. This tweak also supports night mode, so you can use the new control center with the night mode. This tweak works smoothly and without any problems with iOS 13 and iOS 14. The next tweak is Android Bar Tweak. This tweak will bring a feature packed version of the Android navigation bar to iOS. As you see, this tweak will bring these buttons which you can customize as you want. You can quickly access the control center. You can also open multitasking easily from here. And also you can exit apps with the virtual home button and you can also access today view quickly. This tweak is very useful and you can of course customize the buttons as you like from the tweak settings. The next tweak is 3D app version spoofer. This tweak will allow you to spoof any app version right from your 3D menu. This tweak will not change anything in your app's files and will trick the app during runtime to think it has the version you chose to spoof. You also get the ability to return the default version the app originally had. Now type the number of the latest version of the app, which is the number you saw in the app store. I will type the number of the latest version. Now click set proof version. The next tweak is WinPass Tweak. This tweak will redesign the passcode screen to the style of Windows XP. As you see, this tweak will give you this beautiful style similar to Windows XP and also it will give you the beautiful unlock sounds of Windows XP. This tweak is simple and beautiful. The next tweak is Scribble Tweak. This tweak will redesign the passcode screen to a modern twist. Simply unlock your device with a custom drawing that you set up. As you see, just draw to unlock your device. This tweak is designed to be a complete passcode replacement, but you always have the option to use your normal passcode as well. This tweak gives the user a full customization over how they want it to look and feel. Simply, when you unlock your device, you will see the new lock screen. And this is the tweak. Now just draw the drawing you made in the tweak settings to unlock your device. And this is simply the tweak. This tweak is simple and beautiful and I recommend you 
guys to give it a try. The next week is court week. This tweak will redesign the notification center to a modern and beautiful design. As you see, this tweak will give you this beautiful design of the notification center and also many options to customize the notification center. This tweak provides many features to customize the notification center as you want and provides many advantages. This tweak is beautiful and will give you this beautiful design of the notification center. The next week is a cross tweak. This tweak will redesign the multitasking into this beautiful design. As you see, this tweak will give you this beautiful design and many other designs. This tweak will give you several different designs for multitasking and it is a free and beautiful tweak. Now here in style option, you will choose the multitasking style. There are some options that you can choose and the best thing about this tweak is that the changes apply directly and you don't need to respring or restart your device. As you see, the style is also beautiful. You can also choose cylinder style. This design is also beautiful. You can also choose the cover flow style and this style is also beautiful. The next week is Media Bar 14. This week we redesigned the lock screen media player in your device into this beautiful small size design. As you see, this week we remove the big lock screen media player and replace it with this small size on your home bar. This week adds a tiny media player on your home bar and also turns your home bar into a music progress bar along with track controls so you have full control of your music with quick access to pause, track forward and track back. The next week is XUOL Tweak. This tweak will give you the iOS 16 depth effect on all iPhones. If you love the iOS 16 wallpaper depth effect on the lock screen but don't want to upgrade and lose your jailbreak, now with this tweak you can get depth effect. On iOS 16 depth effect wallpaper is requires iPhone Xs and above. But with this tweak you can get this effect on your older iPhones too. So as you see here you will get depth effect on the lock screen and it works on all photos. XE Wall is a great tweak, but you should know that XE Wall is not compatible with the perspective zoom feature which moves the wallpaper when the device tilts. The next tweak is Helix Tweak. This tweak will give you the iOS 16 lock screen on old iPhones. If you love the iOS 16 lock screen but don't want to upgrade and lose your jailbreak, now with this tweak you can get it. As you see, you can customize the lock screen widget you can also triple tab on the lock screen to customize the lock screen. You can change the clock and date fonts and color. You can also use custom fonts. You can also create more than one lock screen and change between them with ease. The next week is Live Activities Tweak. This tweak will give you the iOS 16 live activities on old iPhones running iOS 14. As you see, you will be able to have some of your live activities on your lock screen, including interactions with some modules like music, alarms, timer, and more. If you love the iOS 16 live activities but don't want to upgrade and lose the jailbreak, now with this tweak you can get it on any device running iOS 14 including iPhone 6s and iPhone 7. This tweak is really good tweak and it is inspired by iOS 16. The next week is Tools for CDA Tweak. This tweak will allow you to hack many popular apps easily with just one click. As you see, this tweak will allow you to hack more than 100 apps easily and it is completely free tweak. All you need to do is enable the buttons here and that's it. As you see, a lot of apps. This tweak is one of the best CD tweaks that allows you to hack apps easily and it is a completely free tweak. The next week is Sakura Tweak. This week will improve your iPhone's multitasking as you see. This tweak adds a small grabber to the side of your display that you can interact with to gain quick access to your favorite apps. You can tap or hold on the grabber for a moment to reveal a hidden menu. With this awesome tweak, you can quick access any app you want and open it in a small window as you see. You can use the app in a small window or open it in full screen mode. To open the app in full screen mode, just click this icon here and then open the app you want. Then you can use it in full screen mode as you see. The next week is Bubble Apps. This tweak can create any app shortcut on your device screen so you can drag and place app icons on the fly anywhere 
on the screen you will be able to access your favorite apps from anywhere on the screen after installing this excellent jailbreak tweak you can access any app shortcuts in springboard lock screen control center or any selected app the next week is one settings tweak this tweak is for the settings app it mimics the settings app from samsung's one ui to ios ever wanted to hide the search bar and the icloud account cell with this tweak now you can do it there is a plenty of customizability and features in the preferences for any person's taste you can change subtitles for table cells set custom settings background change table view in sets and corner radius spoof storage amounts and more features the next week is bong water tweak this tweak will completely redesign the phone app contact screen this tweak brings a refreshed phone and contacts interface to the phone app and lets you pin at least three of your favorite contacts to the top of the app for faster access perhaps most importantly that week displays contact option buttons next to each contact along with their contact photo making it easier to get in touch with someone than ever before the next week is lock screen video this week triggers a video alarm when someone tries and fails to unlock your device so you will have a customizable unlock error alarm when you type wrong passcode many times you will get this funny screen uh, uh, uh. you didn't say the magic word uh, uh, uh. Of course, you can choose how many failed attempts at unlocking before the alarm is triggered. The next week is Dynamic Peninsula. This week brings dynamic island-like features to the notch devices on supported handsets running iOS 13 or iOS 14. This week makes the notch more interactive on devices that ordinarily don't make use of it for anything special. One of the biggest changes for the iPhone 14 Pro lineup in 2022 was the introduction of the dynamic island. Okay, I will play some music and boom, as you see, this tweak will bring these beautiful animations to your device. Now I have Dynamic Island on my iPhone X running iOS 14. Now I am gonna try using the timer. This tweak is really cool and will make the notch more interactive with this beautiful animation. The next week is in Neko Tweak. This tweak will allow you to set a video as your wallpaper. So you can use any video you want and set it as wallpaper on the lock screen, home screen, and control center as well. All right, now I'm gonna change the lock screen video. I will choose this one. After making any changes here, make sure to click Respring to apply and save the changes. Okay, now just look at the lock screen and enjoy. This tweak is really amazing and it doesn't drain your battery. The video will continue to play, which means when it ends, it will start again automatically. The next week is Notch Banners. This tweak will transform the appearance of the notification banners by making them drop down below the notch as if they were part of the notch itself. As you see, when you receive a notification, it will look like this. This is a really nice tweak that will redesign your notification banners. And here we go. As you see, when you receive a notification, it will look like this. It will make the notification banner more beautiful. As you see, here is another notification. This tweak, guys, is really good tweak and I recommend you to give it a try. You can download it for free. The next tweak is Honey Tweak. This tweak will bring the Apple Watch's home screen experience to your iPhone. This tweak includes two different icon shape styles and three different background blur style. Each icon automatically animates as you scroll to resemble the Great View style app launcher on Apple Watch. As you see, the tweak can be configured to work in several different ways and lets you experience what you love about your Apple Watch right on your iPhone or iPad. The next week is Eva Tweak. Eva Tweak allows you to set a scrolling wallpaper that will allow you to have scrolling and parallax wallpapers on your device as you see on my device. This is all done in an efficient way so the tweak will not cause extra battery drain on your device. This tweak includes two different styles and the animation is really amazing as you see on my device. That tweak can be configured to work in two different ways and lets you experience what you love in your device. The next week is 
aim tweak this tweak will give you the ios 16 lock screen on old iphones if you love the ios 16 lock screen but don't want to upgrade and lose your jailbreak now with this tweak you can get it for free as you see you can customize the lock screen widget customize the time the colors date and more you can change the time and date font color and also you can use custom fonts and more it is completely free tweak it will make your lock screen more beautiful and more modern the next Next week is Island Tweak. This tweak brings a feature very similar to Dynamic Island to notch non notch devices running iOS 14 up to iOS 16. As you see, this tweak is really amazing with beautiful animations similar to the Dynamic Island animation. As you see, this tweak allows you to access many wonderful and useful widgets. There are 37 individual interactive widgets like currencies, password generator, quick access to the calculator, paste pin, weaver, control center, and many more. This tweak is really amazing and with it you can control and view as many widgets as you like. The next tweak is Coyus Tweak. This tweak will add another module to the control center with any number of custom app shortcuts that they would like and you can even add activator shortcuts to the control center. As you see, you will give this beautiful module that you can customize. This tweak is really amazing and as you see here, here is the Wi-Fi module. You can add more toggles or even app shortcuts so you can quickly open them from control center. Coyus Tweak guys is really amazing tweak and it includes 70 preloaded glyphs right out of the box for some of the app store's most popular apps the next week is touch bar tweak this week will bring mac os touch bar to ios this week brings a macbook pro inspired floating touch bar ui to your device by enabling you to implement actions with a single touch as you see you can quickly mute your device increase or decrease volume increase brightness or decrease brightness and more all right guys touch bar is a really amazing tweak and it allows you to implement actions with a single touch from anywhere it's a really good tweak that i recommend you to give it a try the next week is Center Tweak. This week will redesign your notification center to a modern and beautiful design as you see. You can also expand to see a full list of notifications from which you can open the app, clear individual notifications or clear all. This tweak comes with four reorderable modules like device info, music controls, CC toggles and of course the notifications. Center Tweak will redesign your notification center to a modern and beautiful design and you can also expand to see a full list of notifications. The tweak comes with only 4 modules and of course you can arrange them as you want. The tweak is really amazing tweak but it has limited features and limited toggles. The next tweak is Emerald Tweak. Emerald Tweak will bring tiny widgets to the states bar and enhances your states bar with an interactive widget. As you see, this tweak enhances your status bar with an intuitive interactive widget. Intelligently displays relevant information as required. As you can see guys, Emerald not only looks good but comes packed with 10 useful pills that can be activated from the states bar. These pills offer a variety of features including volume control, date and time displays, device information, weather updates, notification management, network speed, and more. Emerald is a really amazing tweak that I recommend you to give it a try. It supports iOS 12 and above. The next tweak is Cask 3 Tweak. Cask 3 Tweak will bring animated table scrolling to all devices running iOS 14 and up. As you see, when you scroll up or down, you will get this beautiful animation. The tweak is fully customizable. Once installed, you will find the tweak preferences in the settings app where you can change with other animations, styles, and more. Okay, I will try another style. I will choose permanent color. As you see, this is a really cool animation. Okay, I will try another style. I will try Helix animation. As you see, this tweak is really amazing tweak. The best thing is that it works in many apps that have table views like Messenger, Messages, Notes, and more.
The next week is Sinamut Week. Sinamut Week will add a beautifully animated battery indicator to the dock and it shows the exact percentage and state of your battery with animations and customizable colors. It shows the exact percentage and state of your battery with animations and customizable colors. This tweak works in two methods, battery level and battery state. The first one shows a view that represents your battery percentage in the dock background and the second one shows the battery state in the dark background. The next week is copy log tweak. This tweak will give you a powerful clipboard history manager for iOS that is easy to use and works on both iPhone and iPad and will help you to keep track of what you have copied on your device. As you see, whenever you copy or cut something on your device, it gets stored on what's called the clipboard such that it can be pasted elsewhere in the future. By default, iOS only lets you store one item in the clipboard at a time, but with this jailbreak tweak, it will make copying and pasting several items so much easier. What's more is this tweak lets you favorite certain clipboard items which helps you save them for easy access later. The next tweak is one settings tweak. This tweak will completely redesign the settings app as you see. This tweak mimics the settings app from Samsung's One UI to iOS. Ever wanted to hide the search bar or iCloud account cell? Well, with this tweak, you can do it easily. There is plenty of customizability and features in the tweak preferences, so you can change subtitles for table cells, set custom settings background, change table view in sets, change corner radius, both storage amount, and more awesome features. Alright guys, one settings tweak is really amazing tweak that I recommend you to give it a try. That tweak will give you a powerful options to customize the settings like never before. The next tweak is switch shades. This tweak will redesign the app switcher and bring colors to your app switcher based on app icon with nice transition while scrolling as you see. This tweak colors your app switcher background based on the app icon color of the current selected app. The color transitions nicely while you scroll between your apps. The next tweak is Everest Tweak. This tweak will add unique launch animations to your apps. With this tweak, your home screen comes to life as app icons elegantly animate just before launching, bringing a breath of fresh air to your device. It's a great way to add some excitement and customization to your daily routine. As you see, when you launch an app, you will get these beautiful animations. This tweak is really beautiful and it's a very simple tweak with just two options to customize the animations and the speed of the animations. The next week is Etria. This week allows you to manage the iOS home screen icon layout. With this free tweak, you can manage and change quickly the position and offsets of icons, allowing you to create unique looks. Managing icon offsets is also useful for making a place for widgets. This week now officially supports iOS 15, 16, and rootless jailbreaks. As you see, that week allows you to customize the home screen like never before. You can actually Access that week preferences by triple tab on the home screen or by click and hold on any icon. The next week is dynamic stage. This week allows you to split apps and open two apps at the same time. You can open the week from the bottom right side as you see. You will get this small window where you can open any app over the current app. Also, you can move the stage to the top of the screen or to the bottom of the screen, and this will make it easier to use. If you drag this stage down, it will hide the app to the right bottom as you see. If you want to close the app, just swipe up again from the bottom right to exit the app. The animations of the tweak is really good and it works perfect with other tweaks. This tweak is an amazing tweak and one of the best features of this tweak is that it allows you to split apps so you can use two apps at the same time as you can see. This feature is really good and I hope if Apple will add it soon to the iPhones. Just imagine this guys, if Apple adds this feature to the native iOS system, this would be an awesome feature by Apple. 
The next week is IPA Ranger. This week allows you to download and obtain any IPA file from the App Store. So this means guys you will be able to download App Store apps as IPA files so you can install it anytime you want or even share it with your friends, make changes to the IPA file and inject dialibs into it or whatever you want. This week is IPA Ranger. The tweak, as I said, will allow you to download App Store apps without App Store and download any app you want as IPA file so you can install it anytime you want. Alright, the last week we have here is Reveria. This week will completely redesign the settings app as you see. This week brings a complete redesign to the settings app letting you get rid of its boring design. With this tweak, you will get a tile-based interface for settings that consists of cells for each option. One of the best things about this tweak is that you can rearrange the position of the cells and place the settings that are more important to you at the top. The tweak offers many customization opportunities to the users, including the ability to change the color of the settings app's background, change the font color for labels, change the colors of cells, or use random colors that change every time you open settings. Alright guys, these tweaks will make your device much better and will bring more features to your device. If you want more tweaks, be sure to subscribe to my channel where I show you the best tweaks. So guys, this is our tweaks for today. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more jailbreak tweaks videos and peace.